Hello, welcome to this new uh, series of videos dedicated to the Walker Devo 7A uh, modification and uh, division takes installation and uh, how to install extra radio frequency chips in order to uh, have a lot of uh, protocols available on this very nice and compact radio. So why the choice of the uh, Devo 7A? First, because it's of course compatible with the open source software Devo takes. So thanks to him, and if you add some extra radio frequency ship, you can have a lot of different protocols available from your remote. Uh, second point, this uh, radio, if I can show, is very easy to move. So uh, as you will see in the uh, packet you will receive, the uh, uh, radio is uh, pretty compact. So here is the radio, so it's a very uh, uh, compact model, it's quite lightweight, so it's an easy model to, to mode, okay, it's pretty cheap, you can have it for uh, 60 bucks, even less with free shipping, and uh, well, um, the modding uh, cost, uh, for example, if you add uh, one or two uh, radio frequency ships, and uh, the extra uh, switches don't go above 30 uh, extra US dollars uh, and it's compact and lightweight and for me it's ideal to uh, fly to micro nano models or even small racer so uh, yes this is uh, for me uh, a great great uh, nice choice so um, what is Deviation TX? Well it's an open source software and uh, thanks uh, to the USB uh, port located on the uh, uh, left part, uh, it's, you have to uh, pull out this uh, 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 plastic rubber. You can access to the USB port uh, with a mini USB uh, size. Okay, it's a standard uh, cable. You can install uh, firmware and uh, the operating system, so it's pretty easy to do. And uh, well, and out of the box, so without any hardware modification, just by installing the division uh, takes uh, software, you can fly a uh, spectrum um, protocol DSM2 uh, and DSMX out of the box. You have to know that uh, this uh, first entry model uh, have um, a limitation in limited power, so you will probably have to do what we call the dual mode. So uh, what you can do with this model, you can add two extra switches here, for example, and uh, of course try to use some three-way position in order to extend uh, the possibility to uh, choose your flight mode and so on. And uh, well, uh, finally, what I will show in this series of videos is uh, how to install up to two extra radio frequency ships here, uh, or if you want more, but I already did a video on the Devo 10, if you want more than two extra ships, you have to install the multimodule. It's out of the scope of this series of videos. So, uh, well, as you can see in these uh, photos, you can install here and here uh, two extra ships, uh, switch, sorry, three-way are um, probably a better choice. So it's not so hard to install, but if you don't want uh, three-way, you can install either a two-way uh, two or a mixture of one way and one three way. Um, recently, very recently, uh, the gurus of uh, Division TX uh, managed to install also some port. Uh, Why well, he install? If I remember well, here and here. But to add them, you have to change uh, the main uh, arm core of the uh, internal brain of the uh, radio. It's very complex and very hard to unsolder or to solder, so I don't think I will cover this uh, last and ultimate mode. Um, well, I, uh, if we can uh, re um, resume the uh, stories of the protocol, so I uh, cluster them in four categories. So most of them are covering the nano, or micro, or mini uh, radio uh, world. So by default, in the, your Devo 7A, inside, you will see, you will find the SIRF 6936, okay? And uh, out of the box, I already say, 
You can, of course, cover the Walkera protocol because it's a Walkera model. But uh, thanks to this ship, you can um, fly the GSM2 or GSM-X uh, protocol. They are very used, for example, by Horizon or Blade. So it's great to fly helicopters or uh, uh, Blade 200QX, for example, a small quadcopter. Uh, so it's already included in your demo, but uh, they limited the output power uh, to 10 milliwatts. It means that the range out of the box would be uh, up to, uh, uh, I would say, 50, 100 feet or uh, less than 50 meters. Um, so, um, to, in order to extend the range, you have to do a, a complex uh, mode, uh, uh, so called the JOD mode, if you want to extend the range of these two uh, protocols. Uh, the other uh, possibility I said is to install, for example, two extra uh, radio frequency chips. One of them could be the CC2500 here. And thanks to this one, uh, you can uh, install the uh, Fear Sky protocol in D8 or D16 mode. This one, as is written, is not included in the demo, so you have to uh, install it to solder it on the uh, main uh, PCB. And, uh, well, the FastCraft protocol is very, probably the best 2.4 GHz uh, protocol. You, have, you can have very long range, up to 1 km, 1 km 5, and some telemetry information. So it's great, great for a racer, 250, and a smaller size. So usually uh, the D4R2 uh, is, uh, is very known and very used. So thanks to the installation, you can use... Uh, install a D4R2 uh, receiver if you want. Uh, the other uh, two RF ship, so you can install, uh, is more associated with the toys words. So the first one is the A7185 uh, and is more or less associated with the uh, uh, Fly Sky, is different than Fear Sky, the Fly Sky protocol or the Epson one. So uh, you have to install it, okay, if you plan to uh, Fly one of the uh, two above uh, protocols, and finally the, the second, well, another choice of uh, radio frequency ships I will uh, also install is the NRF 24L01. With this one, you can install a lot of toys uh, protocol, uh, double toy V2X2. You can fly GXD or uh, some other uh, toys. The so-called uh, uh, Skywalker or YD77. Uh, Saima protocol, Iskai, some last uh, Cheerson uh, protocol, MJX, and so on. There are also other protocols supported. So uh, basically, as I said, you can install only two extra, which is the three presented here. So th this one is included. So you have to choose two over the three one. So I will choose the uh, CC2500 and the NRF L01 to cover. Uh, do it yourself racer and the toys words. Um, exactly, so I will choose the uh, NRF24 one okay, and this one. Uh, I, I remind that the DSM2 and DSM6 are already uh, covered. So uh, here is my plane of my presentations. So the first thing is how to install uh, the version TX. It's pretty easy, just software uh, requirement. The second, how to uh, open this this radio, okay, so, so uh, a very uh, easy uh, tutorial video, it would be the second part. Well, the third part and the fourth part are dedicated to the CIRF 6936, uh, remind is to extend, for example, the range of the DSM2, DSMX, so it's, they are pretty hard to do. So if you don't plan to use uh, these two protocols, you can go directly to the part five if you want, okay? So uh, part three and part four are very, very hard, especially the part three, okay? The part five is the uh, dedicated to the installation of the two extra uh, um, uh, switches. And uh, finally, part six and seven are dedicated to the installation of the two uh, RF ship, NRF24, they are one, and the CC2500. Okay, it was the first uh, video dedicated of the uh, Devo 7A about all the uh, the TX installation and modding. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.